so big, so much to do and see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. I can't succeed in being you. So you be you and I'll be me, I'll be me. Just like you, I'm gonna be me. How did your uh, art class about outer space go? Oh, <laughs> hi there. I can help you out with that, Ajwa. Thanks, Cujo. This is the solar system the kids made in today's space workshop. Isn't it out of this world? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ajwa. Wow, our mobile looks great up there. Hi, Rosie. Rosie made this wonderful spaceship in our workshop today. We learned about all the planets and our moon. I want to go to the moon and see it up close. Hey, Cujo, can I go to the moon? You can do anything you want to do, Rosie. But how can we get way up there? Oh, maybe with a giant slingshot. <laughs> Everything's okay. Is that elastic band? It's not gonna get me to the moon. We need the spaceship only I don't know how to fly one. Amir the scientist knows all about spaceships. Come on, Adjua, we'll see you later. Amira, Rosie wants to know how to fly a spaceship to the moon. Any tips? Sure, you need to train how to go from the heavy gravity of Earth to the weightlessness of orbit in space. Gravity is the force that keeps us stuck to the ground here on Earth, but there is no gravity in space. Up there, you float. to go to the moon. How do I start training? We need to ask an astronaut. There are people who fly spaceships and work in outer space. Hey, I know an astronaut. Thanks, Amira. Hi, Cujo and Rosie. I'm just doing some work here at NASA, and I hear you guys have a question. Hi, Hi Jeanette. Jeanette. Jeanette, have you been to space? Well, not yet but I'm about to go to the International Space Station very soon. Wow, what do you have there? This is my spaceship. I want to be an astronaut and visit the moon. Wow, Rosie, that's amazing. What does Rosie need to do to go after her dream? Well, Rosie, you need to learn everything you can about different types of science. I have a degree in physics and aerospace engineering. That's how much I love it. Wow! There are lots of cool science activities you can try at home or in school, like studying how gravity acts on objects. You can also use a telescope to study the stars and planets. When you get to space, what will you do? On the space station, I will be doing some science experiments and take spacewalks to repair the space station to keep it safe and clean. I can do that. I love to fix things. Jeanette, what's your best advice for Rosie? So Rosie, you should ask curious questions, study hard, and spend time imagining what it's like to be in space. The moon may be really, really far away. And the moon orbits the Earth every 27 days, did you know? And the Earth's gravity may be more than that of the moon. But that doesn't mean you can't get there soon. I wanna, I wanna, go, wanna go, go to the moon. I wanna go, wanna go to the moon. I wanna go, wanna go to the moon. Wanna go to the moon. I wanna go, wanna go to the moon. I wanna go, wanna go to the moon. I wanna go, wanna go to the moon. I wanna go to the moon. I have to 
get back to work now. Good luck, Rosie. You'll make it to the moon in no time. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Jeanette. Jeanette. Thanks for introducing me to Jeanette. I can't wait to learn more. You already know so much about space, it's inspiring. Keep asking questions about the world and space so you can learn to be kind, be brave, be curious, and most importantly, be yourself. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.